What seven letters did Lizzie say when she opened the refrigerator and saw it was empty? Oh, I see. You are empty. So I definitely still have some of my books from my April wrap-up in the background. Um, let's ignore. Fun fact, I already filmed this video once, but it was like a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. But since then, I've already read a couple of books that were on this TBR last month because I was on a roll. I'm not going to add any more books to my TBR because May is a super busy month for me. I have, let's, let's list this, three AP tests, graduation, three book signings, general stress, and I'm probably going to be crying, you know, job searching, got to take my driver's test finally, that's only two years late. We'll see if I actually finish all of these. <laughs> this is a way smaller TBR than I typically have, so I'm not too worried, but let's get right on into it. I have already drawn these from my TBR jar, so the first book that's not from my TBR jar that I will do a review on, I'm actually going to start this tonight instead of studying for my AP tests. Oh, good job. This is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. This is a fantasy. I keep saying fantasy and I don't even know if it's fantasy. It's probably not fantasy. I've been saying fantasy because we have our lovely map. This is a beautiful map. I would marry this map. That's a, that's a pretty healthy map. I don't know what this is about. All I heard was Tahana Mafi, author of Shatter Me, go, hey, I like that book, best of 2015. And I was like, it's mine. I think it's about something about a spy and a soldier. That's about all I got. So I will be reading and reviewing this this month. I know it came out the 28th of April. If you've already started it, let me know how you're liking it so far. I'm probably gonna have started it by the time this is uploaded, so I might be able to fangirl with you, possibly, but no spoilers. All of these are from my TBR jar, and so in no particular order, I will be reading, get excited, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. This is everyone's favorite Colleen Hoover book, and honestly, I am so excited to get around to this. It follows a girl whose boyfriend, she, I'm, I'm not going to say anything because I'm probably going to say it wrong, but I know it's contemporary, new adult-ish, apparently very sad, apparently very good. I'm excited to try this out. I have it on Kindle in case I want to read laying down or something. I don't know why I needed to include that, but now you know. First book I read by Colleen Hoover. I hope I'll love it. I really want to love it. I really hope the hype doesn't let this down for me. Second book I'm reading is also a new adult book, and that is Easy by Tamara Weber. Tamara? 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 This one follows a girl who has had abuse in her life, and so when she meets a guy, he kind of helps heal her from that. I'm assuming... Hmm? Maybe some trigger warning-ish topics. I'm not sure what to expect. I've heard it's very good by several people, and I'm in the mood for new adult. Like, bring it on, man. Finals? Give me some smut. Next book I'm going to read is Falling For You by Lisa Schroeder. If you don't know who Lisa Schroeder is, she writes all her books in verse. Except for this one. This is an actual full-length novel. But this book is about a girl who has an abusive boyfriend, which is something I don't think I've read anything like. So hopefully this will just be very deep and very emotional. That's all I'm expecting out of it. I'm not sure how I'm going to like Lisa Schroeder when she's not writing in verse, but I hope that it's still going to be just as powerful as all her other books are. The next book is also a contemporary. Say it me. This is Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. Quite honestly, I couldn't give you an in-depth synopsis because I'm not sure. But I do know it's about a girl who's kind of had a pretty dark past and she's having to hide it from people and possibly secrets get out, possibly she meets a boy. I'm not sure what puts the story into action, but I do think it'll be very impactful. I'm digging these deckled edges. I'm digging, well, I'm not really digging that cover, but you know, I, mm, no one really talks about this book. So let's see if I like it. And finally, a non-contemporary book. This is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is a newer release and it's in a fantasy or paranormal-ish world where fairies and humans coexist. There's kind of a legend going around this town about a horned boy who is asleep in a glass coffin. He's been asleep for centuries apparently, but one day he wakes up. So I guess that's where this story begins. I'm not sure what to expect. I hope it'll be action-packed and weird. <laughs> I'm hoping for weird. I've never read a book about a guy with horns, so. Holly Black, I've never read anything by her before. I'm hoping I'll like it and I'm ready. 
and excited to try this one. I love this cover also. Very nice. Lots of bugs. Good job. So this is only six books and I've been reading more than twice this amount so hopefully I'll be able to get through that. I'm definitely not going to hold myself to any more than that because I will be busy this month. With that being said, if you've read any of these books or you enjoyed any of them, do let me know down below. So thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Bye everyone!